so you want to use this resistance say load data right for different uh, time of day okay so you need to use uh, totally five hours right and also you have some commercial load yes so this is a commercial load there are uh, three commercial load okay and then uh, so you want to implement this diagram right this one okay grid is connected to your string cell and commercial load and also your battery so battery going to be controlled battery power going to be controlled by means of a silage controller so it won't be receive a time of the day and a state of charge okay so for that uh, initially i created some fossilogic model so this is a fossilogic model so this is a model receive two input time of the day and soc so the time of the day is uh, categorized into the different category that mean i am uh, providing that uh, timing value from 0 to 6 is known as consider as uh, off peak hours from 6 to 9 this can be considered as normal hour 9 to 12 going to be considered as peak hour and then uh, 12 to 18 going to be considered as normal hour and uh, 18 to 22 going to be considered as uh, evening peak hour and then 22 to 24 going to be considered as uh, off peak hour so i am going to divide this time of the day into different uh, range okay so and also i am going to consider state of charge of the battery so from 0 to 50 means is known as the charging of the battery if battery m50 to 100 known as the charging of the battery so so based on the state of charge you can charge or discharge the battery okay so i am going to disagree and segregate this one and on the output of the fc controller i am going to have three category so one is charging mode so charging mode means the battery power should be in the negative direction okay so we need to feed a negative uh, power reference to that uh, battery not to charge so discharging mode means we need to provide a positive power uh, command to that uh, battery not to discharge okay not to uh, supply the power to the load so in this area that means charging mode you receive the power from the grid okay so for example you consider uh, the uh, some condition uh, you, you mention it right in normal condition the battery uh, do not charge that mean uh, it uh, receive power from that uh, that mean uh, load is receive the power from the, the grid so i'm going to create a, another lodging i think in zero okay so during off peak hour the uh, battery going to be receive this command during uh, peak hours the battery will receive this command during normal hours the battery will receive this command okay so based upon this command and the battery going to be go for a charging mode charging mode or a ideal mode condition okay so here i create the rules for different the based upon dod soc so i want to create the rules here i create the 12 rules so in order to get the proper output so here i can explain with the some picture here you can see that here you can see that uh, soc level is 50 and the time of the day is 12 means the battery control receive zero so that means battery in normal mode condition for example from 0 to 6 right is known as off peak hours so i am going to consider uh, soc level is 31.4 and then uh, the time of the day is 2.9 second that means 2.9 so battery receive negative input so now if you receive negative power input means the battery going to be in the charging mode condition the same way i am going to change to normal operation 
so it is in normal operation condition so battery never receive a power command okay and i am going to going for peak hours so it goes to peak hours that means it receive positive power command to at the judge to supply the power to the load okay so next time going to normal operation so you can see that a battery received zero next time going to peak hours it receive positive power command and then goes to half peak hours it receive a negative power command to charge the battery okay so this is a logic i have created in that uh, first logic control okay so that going to be stored in the here energy.fis okay energy.fis and then i have created model okay uh, that mean i have asked for your requirement so this is grid okay and then uh, grid having a maximum uh, power of 154 megawatt and then uh, 34.5 uh, kilovolt and then i'm going to step down to 400 volt so 400 volt means uh, so i'm going to convert to distribution line concept okay i'm going to step down that uh, voltage from 34.5 kilovolt to 400 volt okay and then it going to be connected with the connected to the battery grid connected battery so this is grid connected battery so here i'm going inside that battery so here we have battery and then DC link capacitors and then inverter okay so this is bi-direction inverter and then uh, it have battery controller so battery control receive power command okay here is that receive power command so based upon power command right it will generate some current reference okay so this is PK control so power that means power from that uh, power reference from that facility control so this is power from that uh, grid side okay so based based upon that uh, reference and actual power it will generate a idq reference current reference so that idq reference can be processed via inverter control right so this is inverter control so this inverter control will process that uh, grid voltage and current and then uh, uh, that when uh, this three phase is converted into two phase and then the two phase quantity is compared with the idq reference generated from the pq control so, and then you could be generated the control signal so this control signal process via pdlm generator okay so the pdlm generator will generate the pulse for that inverter so that going to be given to inverter okay so this inverter going to be control the power flow so whether uh, it going to be transfer power from battery to grid or grid to battery okay based upon this pulse okay so this is a concept the concept of a grid connected battery system and here i am going to create that uh, your load resistance load right there are uh, five hoses resistance load one two three four five okay and then commercial load so this is going to be considered as commercial load one two and three okay so each load uh, going to receive that to your uh, table right so you given some uh, uh, power table right and demand table so here i am created the demand table for 24 hours so here you can see that so for all resistance load right i created this one So you can see, you can check this one. You will get the uh, detail of your Excel sheet. That means you provided some uh, demand detail, right? So the detail will be incorporated in this uh, block. Okay. So it will switch the uh, load, residential load and commercial load according with the time. Okay. And then this is uh, facility control. Okay. The facility control receive two inputs. One is time, another one is SOC of the battery. So based upon this, it will generate the command. This command will be control the power reference of that battery. Okay, PQ reference. So based upon the uh, 
sign right it is a negative sign minus 10 and lower right that means battery going to be in charging mode condition so based on timing right so based on the time of the day and soc the command will be very okay according with you will get the uh, power variation in the battery that means it going to be charging mode condition or a recharging mode condition or ideal condition okay so next we see that uh, here we are measuring that uh, power of the grid so this is uh, first one is uh, measuring the power of the grid okay so next one is power measure the power of the battery so next is the uh, measuring the power of the loads okay here we i consider a uh, five buses one two three four five here we are measuring the uh, power so what's the power will uh, power is uh, transferred to the each load okay so i am going to measure here so you will see that uh, power variation here so this is grid power this is battery power so this is uh, load one load two load three load four load five this means this powers the power from this uh, buses okay and also you can see the variation of that uh, power in the here grid power battery power load one load two load three load four load five buses power okay so totally uh, here i am consider 24 second right so we need to submit this model for 24 second so finally we will get the answer for this okay so based upon the battery command sorry physiology command the battery going to be going for charging mode charging mode as well as uh, uh, ideal condition okay thank you